Hi there, and welcome to Copilot, which is a Microsoft AI for chats. And you can do various things. I'm going to focus on writing a story for young learners, for EFL learners. It could be for older learners, of course, but for English language learners. And this is for teachers, of course, even though students can do the same, adult students. Uh, the name of the story, notice I asked if I go into the prompt, write a short story for young EFL learners. That's what I had asked for. I had to make some adjustments, of course, um, and that I got it. Okay, so here it is. I can copy it. Notice, copy the story. And then I asked for... Uh, five multiple choice questions based on the story with I didn't have to ask for the answers actually the answers were provided notice uh, I asked for the answers and the comment I got was uh, that the answers were provided under each multiple choice question notice you can export it going to word or pdf if you go into word you can also uh, upload it to Google Drive or copy it and just go open a Google Doc and just paste it. And you can also um, have it as regular text and as PDF. So notice um, there is the prompt on the top right. You can see that. And there is the story just beneath that. and. Notice you can also, if you go into the three dots, you can export it. And if you click on that, you get exactly the same thing. Let's go into Copilot. Here we are. And this is my account. I created the magic pencil where I asked for the prompt and got the magic pencil short story uh, using my smartphone. And you can do the same and it'll appear in your account, but make sure that you get an account and you're logged in so that you can get much more. You can also um, add ChatGPT to this, uh, which makes it even more exciting because you don't have to pay for ChatGPT4 and you can still use it on Bing. Notice if you're interested, you can go into the plugins and add them. Here are the plugins. You might want to explore and see what's available. I am going to add Suno because I like music and I plan on using it. So start a new topic to change plugins. So that's what you need to do first. What else? Let's go. That's the recent activity. We can also, let's close that up. We can also start by going into recent activity and you'll have that at the top right and go into ask me anything and you can ask anything notice you can also add by voice which I like because sometimes I prefer voice I get too tired texting so if I click on that use the microphone and then allow this time allow on every visit I think that would be fine click on it I'd like a story about a cat with a point to the story for English as a foreign language learners, for beginners. So something went wrong. <laughs> uh, sure thing. All right. So what can I do? So let me try again. I'd like I'd like a story about a cat with a point for young learners who are learning English as a foreign language and are just beginning. Okay, let me hit the submit. And there we go. I think before I didn't hit the submit and that's why it didn't go through. Hello. 
This is Bing. I'm glad you're interested in stories about cats for young learners. Stories about cats can be fun and engaging for children who are learning English as a foreign language. They can help them improve their vocabulary, grammar, and comprehension skills, while also sparking their imagination and creativity. There are many stories about cats that you can find online or in books. Some of them are classics, like The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss, and some of them are modern, like The Cheshire Cheese Cat by Carmen Agraditi and Randall Wright. You can also create your own stories about cats, using your own words and ideas. To help you get started, I have generated a short story about a cat for young learners. It's called The Cat and the Mouse. It has a simple plot, easy words, and a moral lesson. I hope you enjoy it. Here is the story. The Cat and the Mouse Once upon a time, there was a cat who lived in a big house. He was very lazy and spoiled. He never hunted for his food, but waited for his owner to feed him every day. He spent his time sleeping on the sofa, playing with his toys, and watching TV. All right, so I stopped the, um, the read aloud. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the story to Twee. If you want to learn more about Twee, watch my video on Twee. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to create a story. You can also create a story using ChatGPT or using Google Bard. But I suggest you try Copilot. You'll be amazed at what it can do.